today we're gonna test the fighting force of a uh, long, long it can beetle. Sorry, I spelled it wrong. It's not long horn beetle. It's long it can beetle. Sorry for the uh, spelling. I guess you guys have wondered what is a long horn beetle. That's actually a long acorn beetle. Sorry, but this guy is still pretty big. Anyway, still makes the creaking noise. If he makes the creaking noise, that means he's over 30% health. So, yeah, I just discovered that. When he's kind of thick, he doesn't make the creaking noise. But he's now trying to bite a uh, stick. So, that's why I decided to do a very obvious test very obvious test that most people would do but they never actually make results okay so yeah mm -hmm. do you remember the long acorn beetle bit me and i got like bleeding and stuff well i have a new way to hold the long acorn like this okay so let me just go into my room because my sister is studying, and it's kind of disturbing. And I get these videos because my voice sounds quiet, because, but I'm actually quite loud. My camera softens it. I don't know why. I'm just trying to soften it. Okay, anyways. Anyhow. This is my long corn beetle. And you see how big it is? And then the, uh, all the weapons are right here. Right here, can you see that big, big, big jaw? Okay, so uh, the first test is definitely on a spoon. Bite it, long acorn. Just me. The spoon. Whoop. Pretty strong, huh? Just made some marks on the spoon. But he does not want to actually bit the spoon. Oh, he spit the spoon. Do you know how painful that actually is? Okay, so, uh, just grab it and then put it here. It's good. Bite down harder. Chomp, chomp. Okay, that was a pretty hard bite, but as you can relatively see, they can't actually, like, bite through spoons. So, hmm, bite down. Bite through the sleeve, please. Sorry for the, uh, bad camera. I need to hold a dangerous insect while Oh the insect's waiting. I think I ripped a leaf up. But, oh. I think he does it with like paper the most. Well because demonstration of paper you can rip through it. Yeah, see? See the marks? See the butt marks? If he's big as a human, that's enough to rip this desk. So, yeah, pretty strong bite, but he didn't try his hardest. So... Yeah, this beetle has a strong bite, but like, not strong enough to rip on oh, strong materials. Oh. He just bit into it very hard and it kind of ripped the paper. Also, let's just try one more time. Bite. Oh, he's biting severely. See that? He just made a big dent. A 
a big, 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 big dent. But this guy, ooh, pretty good. Okay, so we just tested a long corn beetle's biting strength. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you the jaw. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. The jaws of the long acorn beetle, or as you can see, oh, don't think you can see very well. Sorry, we'll have to pin you long acorn and ta ta da ta da da. No, wait a minute, I have to turn this stupid light on. Ta-da! Why is my camera not focusing? Okay, focus. Can you see? See this? This is the long corns beetle's biting strength, and its main defense is the bite. See? See its jaws in action, biting the air. So I named it Jaws. See? This hurts very much. Getting bitten by Jaws hurts very much. Especially for human skin. It may not hurt for like tough leathery, leathery insect skin, but it hurts for human skin. Okay, so yeah. That's the biting force of Jaws, and you just saw Jaws, this Jaws, anyway. So, you just saw my long acorn beetle. See in the next video, we're gonna do long acorn beetle versus tarantula. Who would win?